Hey, this is Sarfer here, and I'm going to show you how to speed up Pokemon games on a DS emulator. I'm using a Desmium or Desmiumi or whatever, uh, just DS emulator. Uh, this is the only one that's worked really well for me, so I suggest downloading this one for uh, Pokemon games. Uh, if you get a ROM that says patched on it, it uh, usually means like you can create a save file, which is important in Pokemon games because. Uh, Without the save file, you won't be able to like get past the Elite Four, which happened to me in Fire Red when I was doing Catching Legendaries. That kind of screwed it up a little bit. But uh, anyway, this DS, or I'm pretty sure uh, every DS emulator doesn't have one of those turbo buttons that you see on a uh, Visual Boy Advance or any uh, Game Boy Advance emulator. Uh, you see me use it a lot in my other videos and uh, Catching Legendaries and all that. But So pretty much what I use here is uh, you go to Hotkey Config and then... Uh, look at fast forward toggle. You want that on spacebar? Or that's at least what I have it on because I'm used to using spacebar or fast forward anyway. So just set that on any button you want to use to fast forward, and it's just a toggle, so you only have to press it once. And but that's not the only thing. You don't want to have that on when you're uh, when you're in the world running around. So see, look, it lags, and it's probably even laggier on the recording. But anyways, uh, you want these cheats. Uh, I'll put I'll put them in the description. Just uh, show you what they do. So one of them increases the message speed, like whenever you talk to somebody, and one of them increases movement speed. There's also another movement speed cheat, which is uh, two times fast, but I use the four times fast one. But um, you don't want to use this. Uh, you don't want to use the running shoes while this cheat is on because it pretty much screws you over. I got like caught in the ground when I tried to do it, and I had to redo my whole save. And um, Here's a fat man. Oh, no, I can't really talk to him because this cheat is really weird. It makes your following Pokemon kind of like, uh, like in front of your side to you, side by side. Um, okay, so you can pretty much see how fast the message speed is. Plus, I have the um, the options set on uh, fast right here. I normally do that. And one last thing that uh, about that spacebar fast forwarding thing. Uh, you pretty much just want to use that when you're in a battle because it's like the only thing where it doesn't like pretty much lag the whole thing. See, this is normal speed in this battle right now, and here's the sped up version. Pretty significant difference, and there's not really any kind of like frame rate drop or like any frame skipping if that makes any sense to you. But anyways, expect more Pokemon Catching Legendaries videos for me in the future. Um, I'm going to upload this before I end the Emerald series on all those Pokemon, but you'll hear me say like I'm still having trouble finding a DS emulator and all those. Don't worry about it. I found a good one. It doesn't lag when I record, and uh, I found out how to speed it up, and hopefully this helps you guys if you're trying to play through any Pokemon game. Oh yeah, um, they probably have these cheats for Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, and I'm pretty sure there are none for uh, Black and White at this time. I'm not sure. I still haven't really checked. And I just heard from a friend that there's no action replay codes on it yet, but uh, that's going to be a pain in the ass for me to play through uh, that whole entire game again without uh, speeding it up a little. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. Give it a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please check out my Catching Legendary series if you haven't. And uh, thanks for watching.